Welcome to the Jordan Banks Show, y'all. I am Jordan Banks, the king of urban podcasts, y'all. We back again today, y'all. Same way we are every week, baby. Man. We in the building, y'all. But I ain't never here alone. I always said the king ain't nothing without his royal court. He's standing right beside me, in front of me, what? behind me. What the you talking about, Willis? <laughs> <laughs> because if John up in the building, boy, had to hit that little honor. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> what they do that at? What they do that at, cuz? Boy, right here. <laughs> right here. What they do that at? Hey, yo, y'all, we in the building again another week. Straight after Memorial Day weekend, y'all. A lot of going, lot, lot, lot of stuff going on, man. Hey, good, always, man. Good and bad. Hey. Have you want to call it? We here, y'all. We here. We calling. We balling. Man. We doing our thorough thistle. So let's get into this. As they used to say. <laughs> <laughs> our thorough thistle. thistle. That's, that's right, man. My nizzle for shizzle. <laughs> See, Snoop stole all that from back in the we about the same age, Snoop, so that's cool. You know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. But y'all, hey, like we always say, man, so much going on, so much where they do that. We like to start with something positive, especially with our people. And I got to give Major League Baseball props, man. Man. They've integrated the Negro League stats man. into current stats on their website. About time. Yo. Man, big props, man. That, that, that was a big move there, man. Big yo, move. Yo, big, yo. Man, that was a big move. Josh man. Gibson taking spots. Man. Number one slugger of all time. Man. Number one hitting average. Three. That, Josh Gibson was back in 372. Man. Monster, man. I don't think they count the home runs for him because he'd be number one in that, too. Monster reports. Monster. A lot, a lot of people on the other side in uproar, but uh, it yeah. is what it is. Hey, man, that, that was that was a big move. <laughs> that's man. that's that's that love. I man. always thought they should, man. man. Yeah, absolutely, man. I always thought they should, man. Because it wasn't ever that they couldn't play with the guys. They just yeah. wouldn't let them. They wouldn't let them. But see, then when they let them, they saw what it was. Mm-hmm. I mean, they took Satchel Page as a rookie. He was shit. What forty one? Forty. She right a little older than that, yeah. and was rookie of the year, man. Played a couple years in St. Louis, so, matter of fact. So the crazy part about all that, man, and mm-hmm. I thought about it, you wouldn't let them play with them. So then y'all stats counted and theirs didn't. Yeah. But they played the best of the best in Negro oh, God, League. It yeah. wasn't it, it, it was it wasn't watered down. Oh God, yeah. So then, like I said, so if they had got to play with them, man, I, I seriously think their stats would be even greater. Oh man. <laughs> they played in that Negro League, man. They played the best of the best yes, nightly. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, they, they, yeah. You didn't have the distractions you got Ooh. now and all this other stuff. And think about it, as great Ooh. as Josh Gibson was, man, he only lived to like thirty six or thirty seven. Yep. Right. Yep. If he played along with some of the other guys, man, it probably, <laughs> probably an astronaut. Well, no, nobody gonna catch him. No, nobody gonna catch him. No. So yo, uh, that's that's big. But shout out to Major League Baseball for y'all doing that. Yeah, absolutely, man. man. I know y'all getting a lot of pressure from people right now saying don't this and that, blah blah blah. Yeah. But um, yeah. that's, that's 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 real. Sometimes man. that's what it takes, man. Them not to listen to the critics and just do what's right. Do what's right. Yep. Uh, you 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 said wait perfectly and do what's right. <laughs> Now this gotta be some bull right here, for Lord Jesus. Some of y'all churches out here. <laughs> Y'all gonna quit playing with the Lord. I swear. Y'all gonna quit playing, man. Now, first the sixty-three year old, sixty-three year old pastor, the white Reed, he let him know in the church, y'all ain't gonna be playing with me and my eighteen year old wife. She fine too. Say, <laughs> <laughs> pastor went out and did it. Huh? Pastor went out, and got one. Wait, but the crazy part about she eighteen and he married her. How long was he messing with her before she turned eighteen? He probably met her the first week he met her. He either passed when she showed some interest. Passed away waiting. But I'm just saying, dude. So you don't think it was a long relationship? Hell before? no. Oh, okay. All right. She met him yesterday. Passed the man other day. Well, I'm just sitting there saying, you know, I ain't want to be one of them things. He's six, she's sixteen she, years old. Passing and groomed. Pastor say he want to be a first lady. <laughs> you know. Now, nah, pastor say I'm be the first <laughs> in that lady. <laughs> Bro, let me. I, I'm, I'm. I'm gonna say this is how I believe it went allegedly. Mm-hmm. I think she's a young, impressionable girl. She's 18. I think she was looking for something um, in the Lord. Mm-hmm. She saw a man who was a powerful speaker. Uh, a lot of women like that. Absolutely has a lot of authority in the church. Mm-hmm. A lot of people like that leadership, and I think she fell for it. She probably has daddy issues. But it. hey, they both consenting adults, right? Like it or not, 
It is, it is what it is. But I know the pastor having fun. <laughs> It'd be hard to preach on Sunday. <laughs> go there to commercial. Is. Go to commercial. <laughs> he probably laid every, he laid every Sunday now. Yeah, well, that boy laying hands like like no other. But he he made it clear on the in certain terms. Mm-hmm. He, don't don't go after his wife. Mm. Mm. You gonna tear the church up? <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I'll tell you another pastor that's under fire, man. Uh, pastor. Jeremiah Davis They say Dr. Jeremiah Davis You know A lot of folk Call themselves doctor now Well you know They go to, they go and get Their <laughs> masters And then get the doctrines they, they give them The doctor title So Well A lot of them Ain't got no master No bachelor No associate They just automatically Just go get a They doctor. just call <laughs> themselves doctor They you know A lot of people Call themselves doctor In that church Reverend doctor Sound good. <laughs> Let that line, you line up there already. Right. Yeah. You misrepresent yourself. <laughs> and you ain't got to do it. Because who got qualified? Right. You right. know the rest. <laughs> right. Absolutely. You know the rest, John. But anyway, <laughs> so Pastor Jeremiah, he say Dr. Jeremiah Davis, he down there uh, laying hands and got the hands up and telling everybody, put your hands up. We praising the Lord. One moment she's standing there. He said, put your hands up, lady. Put your hands up. He said, you know what? You make a choice. Put your hands up and get out. Oh. And you don't put your hands up. You're going to get out of here. Whoa. I ain't scared of y'all. That we said, man. I ain't scared of y'all. The Reverend Doctor. The good Reverend Doctor. <laughs> okay. That's what we do now. <laughs> yeah. We're we, we going to make you praise the Lord. So that's the crazy part because the Lord is a choice. Yeah, absolutely. You can't make me praise them. Absolutely. It's like one of them, one of them preachers that, that keep preaching until he until somebody get the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yeah. They keep praying to somebody. I just end up saying, Yeah, well, I'm shabba da da. Oh, shit damn, man. Shabba da ba do. Shabba da ba da do. Come see, come saw. Sit your ass down. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> light bill, dude, man. Sit down. Yeah, man, you had to bring his mom in there, boy. Sit your ass nah, down. This, this is gonna be a quick show because <laughs> the church is up in here, man. Oh, the ch- oh, and I, I, I just can't. I don't try to stay on the lawn because I, I don't like trying to make fun of the church, man. This is their business. You know, yeah, you know, you can't mess with church folk like. But there's a lot of false prophets up in here, man. Yeah, a lot of shenanigans going on in the mm-hmm. black church. We got nerding to have a show where well, they do that at. Well, <laughs> if, if, if this ain't the biggest shenanigan, uh, Pastor Jamal Bryant and his <laughs> BBL pastor girlfriend, <laughs> butt buddy he been running around with for years, Carrie Turner, they got engaged. I guess he felt the pressure from everybody uh, running up on him. He been traveling around with that lady And you know she come in switching And whatever everybody wondering what's going on So I guess he said let me go ahead And try to make it right in the eyes Of the Lord You know what man the crazy part about it Is if, if, when you listen to uh, Pastor Jamal Bryant And I'll, I'll, I'll be respectful you know and, and give him you know the title that God gave him Early on I don't know God gave that to him Well I believe early on in his career yeah. He got he's, yeah, he's I believe true. He got lost, and I'm telling you, man, that money. Hit, I mean, that when, I, when I sit there and say powerful messages, if you go yes. listen to some of his messages from like ten years ago, yeah, I promise you, they relate to the point where they 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 soul piercing. Pastor Jamal Bryant, Bryant. yeah, but it's like now, man, uh, you know, I liked them when he first came man, on the scene. Oh my god, boy! Oh he, my god! I, I knew when it changed. I know it changed. What? When he start wearing them Louis and Gucci's, I said, "Oh <laughs> shit, here he go." He wore the man bag too. <laughs> yeah, and then he got that thick BBL co pastor. I said, "Oh, he done fell for the traps." I swear, boy, they both wore, walk around with purses on. Lord John. Then he came out and was talking about the law, the the church buying land to grow weed. You got, got a business, the weed my, business. Yeah. I said, "Oh boy." <laughs> <laughs> Go pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it. Pass it. As they were saying pastor, not pass it. <laughs> no, pass it, pass it, pass it. <laughs> pop up again. But, uh, but John, I'm, I'm gonna move on from here. The no, Lord said, uh, "Ooh, Jesus, blow that shit out." I, boy, it's a special <laughs> place in hell for some of these folks, man. <laughs> what's special what's place in hell for them. 
<laughs> What's that? <laughs> but uh, yeah, a former Catholic priest over in France oh, wow. uh, found guilty of raping and sexually abusing four boys. Wow. <sighs> no respect for them. Nah. What's going on in the church? What, what's going on? That, that's the white church. <laughs> I uh, I um uh, I hope I hope that's the last church because I really don't want I really John, don't want I really don't want to go off into this like I don't I know I'm about to end the show John because <laughs> oh this scary God. yeah this scary on, I don't man. mind saying man we two Christian brothers yeah this scary absolutely absolutely because you know what you realize man I ain't trying to preach but you realize prophecies being fulfilled yeah I often tell people it ain't it's not gonna get better mm. right. You got to get your relationship with God better. Absolutely. That's but that's, as far that's as the world, is. the world is going worse. It's, it's going, going to get worse. Yeah. If you believe in that Bible, yes, it's going to get. It has to get worse yep. in order for prophecy to be fulfilled and for the Lord to return. So you got to every day you see all this other stuff, you still got to say thank God. Right. Absolutely. Because He'll keep you. Yeah. In this. Yeah, keep and you per- this. Keep you in what and, and, and the word says perfect peace. People want to know why you're happy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But when I see somebody like Jamal, Brian, and these other pastors, I say, thank God. Mm. He talked about these false prophets. Well, that's So you can see it. That's why they say study to show thyself approved. Yeah. Proof is in the pudding, cuz. You can see it. So when you read your word, Ah. they they, they can't tell you. They can't tell you nothing else. So. Ah. Let me get off that, John. (laughs) Let me get up. Something's going to hit me. I uh, hope it ain't no lightning. Where they do that at? So go hit me because I don't know where they do that at. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so about these young boys and this and that. So the feds apparently, when they went in Diddy House, you know, they pulled a lot of tapes out. And as we said last week, mm-hmm. these folk like to keep the tapes. I well, like keep evidence. The feds have started to interview a lot of people on these tapes because apparently there's a lot of sex tapes. I told you, man. Including male sex workers. When we talked to them on this show a few months ago, <laughs> I sat there and said, they need to build a special jail for these guys. I said, Diddy. I'm shame for Diddy, man. Man, Diddy, Diddy going to be in the next cell next to R. Kelly. I'm shame. And there's going to be a couple other people. Cool. Superstars. Oh. I'm telling you. Oh. Man. Yeah, they got this money and they think they just above the law and it, it, it don't work when that I, way. When I tell you everybody is backed away from Puffy, including uh, America's Best Eyeglasses, they take the iframes out and everything. Hey. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, everybody. Sean John's stock has plummeted. <laughs> it just he ain't Macy's no more. <laughs> <laughs> he, he be a family you, dollar. You, 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 I don't even think. I think they taking the website down. Can't even go man, order. I got me a whole shot, John suit for two dollars, man. Man, look fresh, but don't come around me with it. Oh, I'm gonna be like Peter. Pour uh, paint on it. <laughs> I'm so disappointed, you puppy. Mm-mm. Man. But that reports that he was doing this stuff all the way back and, to college, and, and, and he about to do an R. Kelly, about to go, about to do an interview. You know Y'all what? Killing me, man! <laughs> I'm fighting for my life. Cause I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you like this, and I don't want the feds to get on me. But I'm gonna tell you early, puffy. You got run, some tapes. <laughs> Boy, you better run right now. Not nine in this tradition. You <laughs> and Trump better get on that Trump oh, plane and I'm get the you. hell out of here. Nine is Y'all tradition. better get the hell out of here. I'm telling you. See Russell Simmons ain't back yet. <laughs> ain't, ain't, ain't coming back. <laughs> he ain't coming back. He can pretend like he on vacation every you know, and, and you know they swept that up under. You know he got them little allegations and they yeah. swept that up under. When he left the country. He ain't coming back. He pretend like he on a five year vacation if he wants to. Mm-hmm. Or oh, would I get closer to Buddha or whoever walking around barefoot? Yeah, man, that brother ain't coming back. Yeah. And he, he got he got enough money to stay. He yeah. Coming back. <laughs> He ain't coming back. Uh, Diddy, you a Trump? Better get on that play. Don't, don't. Why they get the good? Why, why when they know they're guilty, they try to beat the law? That's what I don't understand. You know you guilty. Trump came out and said, Mother Teresa can't beat these charges with blood. <laughs> Next time you get on that Trump play, you better tell them to keep going. Hey, man. Don't, don't bring back the country. Keep going, mate. I'm telling you. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't get it, man. I don't get it. mm well, they, uh, they play too much. <laughs> look, 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 Mark Davis, the owner of the Raiders, you know. <laughs> he got an old hot girlfriend. He's about 70 something. She's 26. Uh, her name is Miss Hayden Hopkins. 
Well, reports are she pregnant, but she say he not the father. <laughs> he don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I paid for my time. No, no. I, I, didn't, I didn't read the whole article, but I figured maybe they trying to have a child or something, and he want to, maybe she was artificially inseminated, or she had somebody get her pregnant, and, you know, blah, blah. He lived five years and died, and she leave Man, you know, I just um, had this conversation with somebody earlier today, and I'm like, man, who wants to be 80? <laughs> look, I, and I told him, I said, man, look, I said, if I'm that kid, I'm, you hire somebody to act like my daddy come pick me up. Bro, don't get your ass out I can't car. chase him around <laughs> now. Man, don't get your 80 year old ass out that car. <laughs> you have somebody else come pick me up. Who daddy that is? Man, you, you, you was not finna make me oh, laugh stock grade school. Hey, yo, mom, daddy. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, the head down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ass. I, man, I'm sorry. That's I'm, my pappy. That's not my daddy That's my peppy Man Hey Popo Coming up to school Looking like a great granddaddy Not a granddaddy hey. A great granddaddy Hey Popo <laughs> Who you talking to Junior <laughs> You're not my daddy You're my Popo <laughs> Junior you. Don't no. do that to me No You did it to me You you do started this shit <laughs> No Young ass okay. mama pop out Boy get back in the car Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, don't don't come up to the school, Mama. Me. Why you bring him up here? Exactly, you got enough money where you can send you don't somebody else in your place. Your father, no, fuck that. you ain't my, you ain't no, hey, color purple. You ain't none of my daddy. <laughs> you ain't no daddy of mine. I'm telling you, hit him upside the head with a brick. Get your well, ass with me. Don't come back up to the yeah. school. Well, she said it ain't his, and he seemingly don't care. <laughs> At 80 years mm-hmm. old Can't even remember the care. I'm talking about that old age, man. Mike Tyson suffered a medical emergency while boarding the plane. See, that's why you should be fighting at 60 <laughs> and training hard as hell. Mike training hard too, man. Paul gonna hit him in his chest. Let me gonna, tell you something. He gonna die in the ring. You can't be Mike Age, take Viagra, smoke weed, mm-hmm. do all these other training for the fight, mm-hmm. and then you just go walk around. Oh man, you got when you sixty, you gotta make a choice. It's gonna be man, one of them. Sit ringside, smoke you some weed, yeah. drink a little cognac, man, and just call it a day. Either you're you gonna over, do man. weed. Or you gonna do ecstasy? Or you gonna do Viagra? Or you gonna do? You can't do all of them and go work out for five hours and then come out. And he look like a little hyper crackhead too, don't he? <laughs> I ain't gonna talk. jumping around and shit. I, I ain't gonna talk about Mike. He might wake the fuck you and say one punch still that one hit a quitter. What you doing? Okay. Let me try. I ain't saying Mike. I ain't scared of you, Mike. I know you smoke weed and do that stuff. I was just saying the fact. That's John say he kick your ass. Mm-mm. I didn't say that. Oh. Nah, 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 I don't know what you said. Yeah, nah, nah, run the tape back. I didn't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike got the one here to quit him now. Oh, shit. He may, not, he may have not had that one two combo like back in the day, but that one is still good enough. That one pinky. Man. Shit. Mike a thump me. I'll fall out. <laughs> well, cuz. Well, I'm going to um, fall out for the money. Well, yeah. We moving right along, though. So I think we're going to go and get into a little. Surprise, niggas! Little watch party. Oh, shit. Well, uh, you know, I, I see a lot out here. Uh, I try to stay positive. I'm a positive person. But, you know, a lot of, the things that upset me, man, is I, I, I really can't stand the old house nigga. <laughs> That hurt me to my core Because I know if I was alive back then I, in my complete, I would have been out there in the field Ain't no question I might, I might have had a chance to get in the house <laughs> big, big old buck like me I would have went for a 7800 <laughs> John Drive me to the store uh, Yes sir, boss hey, I would have been charged with filling up the, the, the old slave shack with a couple younger You know uh, but So today's house Negroes I I just really have no tolerance for And one of the biggest coons Right now (laughs) I sent out invitation John Over to the house of representatives But I think Marjorie Taylor Green Sent it back (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But I'm still trying to get it through Nigga we ain't responding Um, to you (laughs) Yeah I'm I'm waiting for a response From the office of uh, Representative Byron Donalds of Florida Mm. Now this house nigga is trying to out Tim Scott, Tim Scott. <laughs> if this old smiling Yankee Janky representative showing up all at, in court for Trump and out there in the press conference, ain't they he, both, both house niggas though? I guess yeah. one just trying to get in a better position than the other. He yeah he 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 one of them ones out there saying that uh, Biden sent the FBI to kill Trump, even though. 
Trump went there when they went into Mar-a-Lago and the piece of paper they had is a standard issue for the FBI. He tried to say Biden tried to assassinate him. Like the FBI ain't know he went there. The FBI who coordinated with the Secret Service who Trump has for the rest of his life mm. wasn't there. They knew that. Right. It was probably not there on purpose. But he want to push this narrative, talk loud, mm-hmm. uh, uh, do all kind of just silly stuff, man. Ain't, ain't no reason for it, Baron. <laughs> ain't, ain't no reason for it. Because when Trump get finished using you, he going to throw you off into something else. Yeah. I mean, if you go to jail, you're going to go in there with him. Mm-mm. You're going to be a silly. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm so I'm so sick of y'all, man. But we're going to watch you. Representative Byron Donald of Florida. The house nigga antennas is up. <laughs> Not the antennas. <laughs> I, 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 the, the. <laughs> I ain't there to it. The house nigga antennas. Yeah, man, they, they come up, man. They do 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 do. I'm gonna have hey. to. I'm gonna have to use that one, man. That's a good one. The house nigga antennas. House nigga antennas. Boy, they be up. Your house nigga antennas got you on ten. <laughs> <laughs> you don't let that white man go. Uh, he can pee by himself. And tell them, bro. You know they say you can lead a nigga to water. But you can't make them think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. But anyway, wow. we're going to move on. House nigga and tennis. Yeah, I had to write that one down. <laughs> <laughs> BBL Drizzy. <laughs> Got a little master class going, bro. Mm-mm. I thought about what you said last week. You know, we need something good, but I... Couldn't find that, though. <laughs> <laughs> like that gospel song say, man, I searched around. Couldn't, Couldn't find, find nobody. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nobody but you, Lord. <laughs> well, oh man. Uh, this master class is called You Fools Will Follow an Earthworm to Hell. <laughs> the follow culture at all time high. I follow Earthworm to Hell. Yeah, bro. <laughs> well, sometimes, bro, I feel like a fatherless child. I feel like I'm in this thing all alone, man. <laughs> I scream, I shout. Even worse than the cancer culture, it's the follow culture. Everybody look alike. Everybody got the same hair, the same belt, <laughs> same walk and talk. <laughs> they all rap alike. <laughs> they all use auto tunes alike. <laughs> it's a damn shame. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm sick of it, man. I'm ain't, sick of the follow culture. Ain't, ain't nobody doing nothing different, enough. bro. If we don't get no originality and nothing, even in this podcast, I mm-hmm. try to be different. Mm-hmm. I try to find my own niche, my <laughs> own way. <laughs> Maybe to come out looking like something in the end. Maybe somebody else doing something similar. But I definitely try to follow my own niche. Right. We even got a different way we spell it. You know, <laughs> right. we got our own saying, cuz. You know what I mean? What they do that at? What they do that? Oh no, cuz. Where? Why? You tell me where they do that at? Tell me. Mm-mm. You know, so I, I've never been a follower. I think I'm probably in that eight percent of people around the world because I think that's all it is. <laughs> Five to eight percent of people who don't follow. Mm-mm. We lead, right? And it ain't no thing coming from no nor- narcissistic uh, uh, way or anything like that. But some people just don't follow. Yeah, just try to be different. Try to be different. Yeah, be lame. See, I understand. No, so you ain't. I'm, I'm, work, I'm working on a book, man. Um, another book, but it's called Lame. L A M E. Leveled above mindless expectations. Man, see, that's a man without house nigga antennas. Yeah, <laughs> without it. Level, stay leveled, man. Mm-mm. Because what's lamer than somebody wanting to see you look like them? And that's often when they bully you or talk about you because mm-hmm. you don't because you got on joys and I got on feet lockers or vice versa. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not a reflection of you in the mirror. I'm lame. Why well, I say lame is the coolest thing you can ever be. Damn it! Damn. Stop following earthworms. You bigger than that. You an elephant. Well, go on handle it then. You heard me, cuz. That, that wasn't too bad, man. That wasn't too bad. I, just, I, think some, I think somebody learned something. Yeah. They might have tried to have one more person take their house, house nigga antennas off. <laughs> house nigga antennas. <laughs> I, might wear some, I might wear some antennas on the next show. <laughs> <laughs> you do. What man tell to do a fresh match class? Put a, put, a, put, a, put a sign up to say, hey. house nigga. <laughs> 
antennas. How's nigga alert? Selling them online. <laughs> Three ninety nine. Mm-hmm. They're, hey, they're buying. Hey, they might sell it on TikTok. They're going to wear the head in them gold shoes, Trump said. Hey, they should be about 59 cents now. <laughs> Free. <laughs> you can't give away. That motherfucker said three ninety nine. I'm not talking about three dollars ninety nine cents. <laughs> well, bro, I guess we got to move on. Mm. Oh, Lord. A lot of y'all stay drunk. Exactly. Stay drunk. We we had, okay. I, I guarantee. You know what? I would love to know the ratio of drunk to sober. What we've done? Shit, probably <laughs> ninety nine to one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's check out the young man. See, see what it is, man. Reports are that Le, uh, Bronny James um, was scheduled for ten workouts with ten of the NBA, the NBA teams. That's great. That's amazing. It is. He canceled all but two. He said, "I'm only doing LA and Phoenix." <sighs> I hate black people. <laughs> Bro, how you going to come in with your four points a game and try to Kobe the situation? But Phoenix say they are seriously considering taking him at 22, which means they're serious about getting LeBron because LeBron's chosen to become a free agent this summer. And I think he, he he's holding out because he wants to see where his son's going to go. And he said, we only doing L.A. or Phoenix. First and foremost. Let me go and get this out the way. He's strong. Yeah, but, he drinks in college. But let me let me say this reason why I think what he's doing is genius. <sighs> because you got to think, he came up off of a surgery. So in hindsight, we both have played sports and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. When you're coming up off a of surgery, and I don't know how severe that surgery is, so for him to average four points and <laughs> however many rebounds and assists, could have been the extent of what he could do and what they were allowing him to do because they were scared of him playing. So imagine if could be if he came in totally healthy, mm-hmm. you, it's, it's only left to the imagination what he actually could have done. Right. So it's showing at the uh, workouts and stuff like that when they were uh, in Chicago was actually pretty decent. Yeah. So they're thinking LeBron James's kid mm-hmm. have the same DNA that he has. This might be a diamond in the rough. Now, that's why I sit there and say it's genius. Because you're using what everything that's capable to you to get somewhere where you really couldn't have gotten mm. if you didn't have that backing. Now, like I said, he drunk for doing it. But it's genius. Yeah. But with Paul, uh, Rich Paul and LeBron, what they're doing with him. Here, here, here's my rebuttal to that. If you please. <laughs> if you will. My rebuttal to that is I judge his high school career. Mm-hmm. He shouldn't even have a scholarship to USC. <coughs> I don't think he was good enough for a D1 scholarship to USC. Mm. I definitely don't think once he started, he wasn't good enough for that. Mm. Now, I can hear you say they may have held him back a little bit, but I still didn't see it. They had him listed way over what he really is. Right. He has good vertical for that height, but he ain't no Derrick Rose. Mm-mm. He has a good shot in practice that I've seen him miss a dozen times during the game. Because you know, you know, it's a different emotion, different feeling, you know. Mm. Um, and for you to come up to me, I think if the Bobcats wanted you and you got drafted, you should have went. Yeah, I don't like them pushing the line, especially when no, you ain't got no talent like that. You like I say, you ain't Derrick Rose or Allen Iverson or something. You know, you you could see Derrick Rose in high school, Allen Iverson. You could see what it was. Even your daddy, you could see what it was. Michael Jordan, you could see what it was. You, but that's just the thing, man. They, they, you weren't even the best player on your, on your high school team. They, they, they playing, they playing off the narrative of his father, and that's why I said I get it. Genius, I get it. Yeah, Mar- marketing, marketing is a bitch, man. I'm telling you, he drunk. <laughs> I just don't like you taking the number twenty two spot. Or anything else about somebody, somebody else more deserving? deserving. Yeah, because gotcha. they could take your last. You could be Mister Irrelevant. <laughs> gonna be yeah, Mr. Relevant. We're I mean, Mr. Relevant at 22. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, sobriety check, too. And I don't know who cares, but Vivica Fox says she on the market. She on the prowl. She on Cougar Town. She out there and she ready to swoop up something. Hey, I mean, hey, I don't think she's drunk. I think she's sober. I take that money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna wait till after you chase fifty for forty years? <laughs> now you're sixty and sagging. Hey, hey it, it don't take it don't take much for Vivica. Please, Vivica, for the cash, <laughs> you a few dollars. So. Now you now you're taking applications. 
Motherfucker, you, you ought to just be taking call-ins. <laughs> I'm not putting in no application. You ought to just have people hey, call. Hey, don't, hey don't, are you hiring? Don't, yes, we are. <laughs> don't, don't, don't put your profile up on Tinder. <laughs> she said she ain't doing it. She said she ain't doing it. She got, she got, she got standards. She said she a lady. Hey, Vivica, I'm going to slide in your DM later. <laughs> Bro, like I said, she shouldn't be taking applications. She ought to be interviewing every day at two and five, like McDonald's. Hiring on the spot. <laughs> Boy, I'm just I'm just sliding into your DM later. <laughs> <laughs> well <clears throat> last one, bro. After earning over eighty eight million dollars in this NFL career, uh, everybody's uh favorite stalker. <laughs> Antonio Brown files for bankruptcy. Says he owes his creditors over three million dollars, and he only has about fifty thousand assets left. Mm. Yeah, call Kanye. Well, I mean, if, if, when you, all them lawsuits. <laughs> I'm surprised you got that much. Though. You know what he gonna do next? What? He gonna do his Trump. <laughs> You gotta have people to talk about something so he can be on that social media. You know what? Here, karma is a bitch. Boy. <laughs> Cause the th- Tom Brady opened up, th- th- and now I'm sure he was an asshole before all this. But you know, just looking on the outside, somebody like Tom Brady opened his house to you, Man. put you around his wife and kids, everything, right? And and what do you do to repay him? I mean, get, he he was on your way to rebuilding your image, dealing with yeah. Tom Brady. Damn. Even if you had slept with his wife, you know the woman gave you a shot. Why why why, why you put out like that? Right. Then Keisha Cole get with you, and you ain't right because oh she was my. Coming up, she was my girl. Mm-hmm. Look how you did her. All these things you doing, man. Coming back to roots. Now ain't nobody messing with you. You stalking Taylor Swift. All this type of old silly shit, man. <laughs> trying to be, trying to remain relevant. <sighs> trying to get a name on somebody else's name and won't even pay child support. Man, you better go ahead on. I, I, I would, I would reject this bankruptcy. <laughs> Nope. I would too. <laughs> nope. You gonna pay this shit. Go back how they rap career how they rap career going. Right. You gonna pay this shit. Take your ass to work. McDonald's hire. <laughs> you gonna pay this shit. All right. Go ask Kanye kids for a loan. Northwest or somebody. Exactly. Speaking of Kanye though, man, this, oh, this is uh his kid uh Northwest. Uh she's performing during the Disney's The Lions King. Uh, they got a live concert in LA. Yeah, they said the performance wasn't that great. Terrible. <laughs> I don't like to judge kids, but, but girl, right, that's, why just, that's why I that's why I chose the words not that great. So. <laughs> your daddy is a rapper. He ain't no singer. <laughs> so unless you gonna look like your mama one day, just enjoy the money, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no career to take me. I mean, he dances. He dances like a white girl. He sing like Al Bino. <laughs> Why you so hard on? Terrible. <laughs> Kanye, you ought to whoop her ass. She messing up the West name. <laughs> JP, why you so hard on? <laughs> Damn. Listen, yeah, kids can't do everything. They can't. They got to start from somewhere, man. Not in public. <laughs> <laughs> First, let me let me do like Joe Jackson and, and uh, <laughs> let me uh, do like yeah, even Beyonce and them. They ain't just thought in public. Like I, like I said, I be listening to some people now, man. Some man. singing shit they just relegated to the shower. <laughs> let me say something. Some like Joe Jackson, Matthew Knowles, they put their kids through years of training. Now nah, they whoop their kids. Hey, they ain't doing over the years. Well, little girl need ad whooping. Call Pete back. <laughs> Joe Jackson, come on now. He beat the shit out of them boy. And, and, and we got some of the best music ever. <laughs> See, he sacrificed himself first. That's what Mike did. <laughs> so if, if, if they say, Do you want John Mama beat shit out of him and we get some good quality, I was say beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you bring the best out of him. <laughs> bring the best. You know, Marvin you know, Gaye always you know said, You can make your best songs. You know, you know when what? I, 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 hey, parents should do that for real these days. You yeah, know man. What? They, they, they try talking to the kids. Oh, they try being, I can't talk kids. to kids. Whoop their kids' ass. I guarantee you, you get the next Michael Jordan. They Whoop ass. their ass. <laughs> It's soon, biblical. Soon as they say mama butt, 
beat shit out of him. <laughs> Daddy, I tried whoop hey, his ass. They're biblical, John. <laughs> <laughs> Spare the rod, small the child. <laughs> we all know it to be true. Hey, where they do that at? Huh? Right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right here. <laughs> you tell me where they do that at? Boy, uh-huh. I tell my boy, I'm whoop your ass. Keep playing with me. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, you know how? I, see, kids don't fear nothing no more. You just look at them. Mm-mm. And then everything stopped. The world stopped. They, whatever they doing, they stop. He look at a kid now. He pull out gun, shoot you. <laughs> Talking about with my ass. Hey, you looking at? Got me fucked up. Looking at me like that, little nigga. Then <laughs> you the daddy. <laughs> Wait till we get home. Nah, we can do it right here, man. You playing? We can do it right here, baby. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, get down, get down how you live. Right, right. You talking all that shit in there with your brother, <laughs> old Uncle Joe, and now you talking that with him. Now you come out here, you acting like a little punk. Right. Mm-mm. This nigga gonna make me kill him. Man, do it, man. <laughs> see, y'all, see. Woo. Mm. see. I, that, see, that's where the old parents, I mm. die for mine. I mean, you, you know what? I'm gonna I'm die whooping your ass. <laughs> well, <laughs> speaking of shame, bro. <laughs> Atlanta had a jazz fest down there and Andre 3000 was there and he pulled out the flute. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get your ass off the stage. <laughs> you don't get your ass off the stage. <laughs> Bro, it sounded like this. Wait a minute, man. <laughs> Wait a minute, man. Just picture a black man. <laughs> Who used to be one of the uh, one of the one of the icon rappers of our time? One of the greatest uh, up here playing the flute. <laughs> he sound like this. <laughs> well, you know what? Some people don't need to smoke. I'm telling you now. Some people just don't need to smoke. <laughs> That's right. I, you one of my favorite, bro. Man, always have been top all time. I mean, you know, at least top five. I love that dude, man. But come on now, bro. That that flu life. This was a career killer. <laughs> Not this, bro. <laughs> Mary, Dude, Mary imagine, had a little lamb. Ima- imagine, imagine we out kicking it. You know, Drake won our boys, and we out kicking. It. No, he he, well, he might end our friendship because I'm I'm dog. I'm going no, in on him. You know, he remind me of who's that hustle man. <laughs> Pick, up the pieces. <laughs> Pick up the pieces. Pick up the pieces. I'm just trying to get mine, play. <laughs> I saw you tapping your feet. Yeah, yeah man, it was right. cool, but you know. <laughs> Pick up the pieces. <laughs> Bro, man. That's right. Don't do that. Man. <laughs> hey, entertainment if nothing else. Oh, my God. That should have been a comedy segment. <laughs> I think I found what's wrong, John. According to reports, in America, cannabis use has uh, overtaken daily use of alcohol. Cannabis is not number one. People smoking bone, they drinking now. But jobs still won't hire you. <laughs> <30. laughs> well, you know, John, I've said for a long time, it's this different type of weed that got these folks acting like this. Because back in the day, when we just got it from the dirt, you ain't act like this. Hey man, you know when they try to uh, the, the, uh, you know, do they little chemical thing that make this more potent? Mm-hmm. Like, like, like the one, the one we weed I heard, and I've been laughing about. It's this. not just weed no more. Man, I've been laughing about this since I heard it. Dude sat there and said he went to the dispensary, and got something called Rosa Parks, and he was stuck for three days. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's the way they try to sit there and cut it up and make this different stuff, and the names that they give it, man, they call it the Rosa Parks. They got apple pie, birthday cake, <laughs> right? bro. You know what that tells me? <laughs> it's not just weed. Because remember, we knew people that grew it. You know, you getting it straight out. The- How about name one called <laughs> I got a job? <laughs> How about name one talking about they hired me? <laughs> they got one called retirement party. <laughs> Freak a leak. Boy. Sex workers. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's crazy, boy. They got no diddy now. Mm. You better get you some of that no diddy. Got no that no diddy. diddy over here. Hey, don't 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 smoke that kale. <laughs> I'm telling you now. <laughs> Don't smoke that kales. I'm telling you now. Ooh, you gonna be fiesta, fiesta. <laughs> no, no, you gonna be fiesta, fiesta. Bro, better yet, you could have some of that Andre three thousand. You gonna be outside. 
Look at that motherfucker standing on the roof playing a flute, butt naked. <laughs> oh, he, standing on one leg. Oh, oh, he done smoked that three thousand. That eight three thousand. That eight three thousand right now. I don't wanna listen. I'm telling you, don't smoke that kills. <laughs> Bro, let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> this dude, on, this dude is on something, bro. So, dude is doing the court for a suspended license. Okay. You know uh, they're gonna let him make a Zoom appearance. You know how court is nowadays. <laughs> he finally comes on Zoom. <laughs> the judge is shocked. <laughs> it's a suspended license case. He ain't got no license. He has to drive. <laughs> he he on Zoom. The judge say, "Are you driving?" <laughs> In the car. Like, I'm pulling up to my doctor right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause you know what we we probably little park and we need to concentrate. He turn you know, down. Hold on, yeah. He got to turn the volume down. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> the judge was like, "What?" Hey. Yeah, hey. takes all care, man. He, I bet mean, he on that hey, stuff, man. He, he, he was smoking that Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that, that's the name of that He's smoking that Kanye That's that pick up the pieces <laughs> I don't Bro Alright Wow Yeah he was smoking that Kanye I don't smoke weed Cause I don't know what they putting in it no more <laughs> I don't know man You gotta grow your own man Well uh, Let me tell you something who ain't, they, they, they clear on it So some fans jumped on Twitter You know I guess somebody was wondering Where is Alfonso Ribeiro you know he do game shows all right, the time. Right. Like he been acting for years. Like he never stopped working. Right. Honestly, right. somebody made a smart ass comment on Twitter X, whatever they call it, talking about he need to have Tyler Perry reboot his career. <laughs> I found some Ribeiro jumped on X and said that man can't ever do nothing for me or say nothing to me. Yo. So let me tell you how. So this is a lesson, man. Because everybody ain't bootlickers. Mm hmm. That man, that man say shit. I've had a career since I was five. Right, I ain't never stopped working. Just because you ain't got cable and can pick up my game show, don't mean that. Right. He dead. say ain't that shit. That, uh, Silver spoons. Yeah. In the house. Yeah. Uh, what's the show with him? Fresh Prince. Yeah. The game shows. All the Michael Jackson commercial. Dancing with the stars. He don't need top here. <laughs> nah, he good. He, he, he good. He legend. Well, man, it's a family in Wisconsin. Uh, they suing Kinder Care Learning Centers. They're a major, uh, I ain't going to say babysitting, child care mm. place throughout the country. They suing them because uh, they one-year-old uh, tested positive for cocaine after standing there. Woo. Yeah. They wow. moved past the weed. <laughs> right. I don't know how that happens. Wow. Your yeah. kid's supposed to be in there sucking milk and eat. Inhaling sugar. <laughs> I don't maybe somebody somebody got the milk powder mixed up with the weed. Or not the weed, the, the crack. That's, that's even worse. <laughs> you done forgotten where you put the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I said. My shit. I gotta make this baby some milk. <laughs> she acting acting like a uh, uh, Jenny on uh, Forrest Gump. <laughs> Bro, well, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna end like this, but Memorial Day weekend, man, it's sad. So far, this reports are in Chicago, 31 people shot, five dead on Memorial Day weekend. Wow. Yeah, still attacking the damn fool. <laughs> Can't even have one holiday. <laughs> Can't one holiday where you just don't do nothing. <laughs> See, they they need to be they need some of this. Mm. Uh, the six people at a family reunion in Wisconsin uh, have been diagnosed with brain worms what after eating undercooked bear kebabs. Oh my god! <laughs> now you get up, folks, in Chicago some bear kebabs. Well, <laughs> you 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 they say you develop brain worms when you eat wild game, right? Oh That's undercooked. Which tells me you probably shouldn't be eating bear. Come on, man. Because, <laughs> uh, Come on, yeah. Man. We got to so, end this. I don't, I don't know what the fuck they were smoking. I don't even have a name for that. <laughs> I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where? Clearly, in what's going on? Sorry, y'all. I got to end it on that. Hey, peace. Don't eat no bear kebabs. Have fun today. <laughs>